the major filing statuses including married filing separately, single, head of household, married filing jointly, qualifying surviving spouse, noting that although this is basically in order of the least favorable to most favorable from a tax standpoint, obviously, again, it's probably not favorable for most people to be a qualifying surviving spouse, but for taxes, it could result in the biggest of a, of a tax benefit or tax advantage. However, in practice, usually you can think of two main categories. People are either not married or they are married. If they're not married, then they could be single or if they qualify head of household, they would rather be head of household than single because that would be a better tax advantage. You typically need a dependent for that. If married, usually people will default to married filing jointly, which is usually the best filing status, but in certain circumstances might choose to file married filing separately. And then of course, the qualifying surviving spouse would be applicable possibly if there was say a death to one of the spouses for a situation where they were married in which case the year in which the death occurred would still be filing married filing jointly generally and then the question would be do you default back to single or head of household after that year or could you qualify for a qualifying surviving spouse now most of these are pretty straightforward right if someone is single and they don't have any dependents they're pretty much going to be single filing status. Not much to think about there. Uh, however, sometimes it's not as straightforward because you might have custody issues, for example,